Hello, my name is Michele Angelo Rocha, and I'm a PhD student in Educational Leadership and Policy Studies at the University of South Florida. Today, I'm here with Dr. Charles Vanover. Dr. Charles Vanover is one of the co-editors of the book, Analyzing and Interpreting Qualitative Research after the interview that is in production right now with SAGE. Dr. Vanover is an associate professor and he teaches educational leadership and qualitative methods at the University of South Florida. Dr. Vanover has published many ethnodramas about the Chicago public schools, teaching the power of the word, listening to the silences and system of failure. And his plays have been performed at over 50 juried and invited sections at venues ranging from the American Educational Research Association, the University Council of Educational Administration, the International Congress of Qualitative Inquiry, the Qualitative Report Conference, and he has a long-term relationship with the studio at Six Training in St. Petersburg, Florida. He is the lead editor for the forthcoming volume from Spring of Nature Assessing Performance-Based Research. Thank you so much, Dr. Vanova, for coming and talk to me today. So talk a little bit. Could you tell me a little bit about what's unique about the book? So um, myself, Paul Myhouse at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and Johnny Saldana at ASU, um, we wanted to create a book um, about qualitative data analysis that really um, inspired and help people do the work. So the book is um, a, is a book by people like all by us, by our contributors that really love doing qualitative data analysis, and it's um, it's for people that really um, want to understand the content of their interviews. Right, so we don't have anything about how to interview. You'll have to go to other books about that topic, but we take you from that step. Um, we have some really good introductory chapters about how to conceptualize your study over time. We have chapters on transcription. We have chapters on coding, on theming on um, writing memos and other interpretive practices. Um, we have chapters, uh, a whole set of chapters on using art-based approaches to interpret your interview data um, that I think people will find really interesting. And then we have um, chapters on um, like a really interesting set of chapters on write-up strategies. Um, one on how to create a narrative from narrative data, which is a very interesting art form. Um, a chapter um, by Jessica smart Gillian on how to um, write op-eds and sort of popular writing from your interview data. And then we have a, um, a, public, a chapter from a very important publisher in qualitative research, Mitch Allen, about how to take it to um, a monograph and create a book from your interview data. So um, we're very excited about the work. Um, we've just, we've worked hard on it all through the outbreak and um, we're very excited and inspired about it. That's amazing. Could you tell me a little bit about, about the, the format? of the book, the, could you tell me a little bit more? Yeah, we worked with Sage. And so our goal was to have it um, to be a really a how-to guide. So most every chapter has um, the same structure. Um, starts with a little interview, has um, again, a small description of the contributor's qualitative study, but then the majority of the, um, the chapter is all about the different practices, the different techniques that that person uses, what they learn from it, what they gain from it, from using, from, from digging into interview data. So you'll just see this vast range of approaches, just a, just a really great set of ideas about, you know, how to really take that data and really learn from it, really attempt to 
understand that content. Great. And one thing that I thought very interesting that you told me was about that the is like going the chapters, the book is like going to people's kitchen. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? I thought very interesting. Yeah, so it's very personal, right? Qualitative research is a very personal practice. And so you really get, um, you know, into very different styles of cooking, very different ways of getting into that data and, you know, developing, finding, um, and then, ex, you know, writing up or performing or creating art from that data. And so I think that people will just like if you, someone that likes to you know, read a lot of cookbooks to sort of get different takes on how to do things, you'll see just these really um, great takes on how to do it from some absolute leaders in our field. So we have um, just a tremendous number of people um, really great, both people that are emerging, people that have worked in the field for many years, and they really do take you inside um, their kitchens and help you see and learn um, what they do in this very important part of um, doing qualitative research. Awesome. Could you tell me a little bit about what's your expectations with this uh, YouTube series? So then as part of our book, we want to, um, you know, reach the public, reach, you know, not only reach academics, but perhaps you're doing oral history interviews, perhaps you're doing genealogy interviews. Um, so we're hoping that we can get, you know, a broad range of folk. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of reporters doing art space practice to their data, but who knows, right? Um, and so we wanted to have these um, little clips as ways of sort of getting people interested in the book and then maybe inspiring them to think about, you know, a particular technique or a particular researcher's work. Awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, I look Thank forward you. to reading your book. Yeah, in April. We're coming out in April, I hope. Yes. <laughs>